Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I know there's not much light because I don't have a lot of light in my kitchen and it's a little after 6 o'clock in the morning. I have to get up early and start fixing breakfast because we're going to leave around 9, 9.45, somewhere around there in order to go to a doctor's appointment in Canton, Ohio. But I wanted to talk to you about something that happened yesterday. Now, you internet trolls are getting brave and, and or stupid one or two. They come to my home. They come here to my home and pretend to be somebody that you're not. Yesterday, two younger guys in their 20s showed up and gave me this pack of bacon, Jimmy Dean, thick sliced, premium bacon, and 18 count of uh, large eggs which are from Dollar General uh, how, well they they, <laughs> they had they had them bagged up and they gave me when they gave me the in the Dollar General bags Two, you know, double bagged. Double bag from the Dollar General. Queen, calm down. She doesn't like listening. She just thinks it's time to eat, feed her. Which I don't feed our, our cats until around about 7.30 in the mornings. Because... I don't want them to... Constantly be begging for food. It's not that I don't feed them. They have plenty of hard food in the in the bathroom and in our bedroom. They have plenty of hard food. They have plenty of food in uh, food containers. I give them soft food twice a day, around seven seven thirty in the morning, and again around four thirty in the afternoon. I don't give it to them constantly. Now, something that I found out after they were here, I, I made some phone calls. I did some research on my own. You see, the two guys that was here, they said they were with the local food pantry. They were helping out the local food pantry. I asked them what church they were with. They didn't, they said they were not with a church. They just were helping the local food pantry and giving food to people that did not get everything from the food pantry. I'm thinking, yeah, I know, we didn't, they didn't pass out eggs. But I did get meat. I did get meat. They didn't pass out eggs, but I did get meat here last month at my local food pantry. So I made some phone calls. I called uh, a couple people that run the, the food pantry. But one person's not even home. That person was home. And he said, he informed me that they do not, they do not send people from the food pantry to people's homes. You have to go to the food pantry to get the food. Now the one in Dover, Ohio, what they call the, the uh, greater, uh, Dover Greater Food Pantry, they do, but for that area only, Dover, New Philly area, not uh, everywhere else. 
but people from every anywhere can go to that food pantry. You don't have to live in the Dover area or the New Philadelphia area. You can live Newcomers Town. You can live uh, Yorksville. You can live Canton. There even was a guy coming going down there from Alliance, which is farther north than where I live. Earlier in the summer, there was a, a couple school bus drivers from Canton, Ohio, retired school bus drivers that I was talking to that was there going there. The point is, that food pantry does a little bit more, does things different than, than uh, my local food pantry. Every food pantry is different. Not every food pantry is the same. The one in New Philadelphia at the Assembly of God is only for people that live in New Philadelphia area. And this is this is what I got that I, I didn't get everything because there's a lot of things I don't need. I don't get, and if you know, I don't need it, and I don't want not want it. I, I don't get it. I leave it for somebody else to get. I'm not stingy. And one thing I needed to get, and I got here was bread. Got three loaves of bread. I could get five, but I only got three. They give out a lot of fresh fruits. Got some zucchini, uh, green peppers, bananas, more carrots, strawberries, cherry tomatoes, and I got a bag of onions. Oh yeah, some donuts for dessert. Where we had um, some last night. Duncan Donut Coffee Orange Juice Some canned stuff here I also got from the food pantry some green beans and uh, pumpkin And I also got This is something that the food pantry has been given out last couple last couple months pork patties with soy it's alright I mean but it's not like these ones here these ones here are regular pork patties and uh, I got they finally they gave up some of these I, I'll eat between bacon and, and, and uh, sausage pork patties, you know, sausage patties. Trying to get things back in there so <laughs> the door will shut here. Yeah, my freezer's full, but... And we eat some of the stuff when we need it. Oh, come on. There we go. So there you have it. So there's two guys. One was wearing a uh, all blue one was wearing an all blue dress shirt black pants dress shoes another one was wearing a uh, plaid blue dress shirt black pants dress pants brown dress shoes uh, the one with the all blue shirt was clean cut the other guy had like a 
five o'clock shadow beer going on. Both had black, you know, black hair. Short black hair. I called the Dollar General and they said, yeah, we remember seeing those guys. And the eggs and the bacon is the only thing that they bought with their money. They were not with any food pantry. So they come to my home driving a black SUV saying they were with the local food pantry. They were holding themselves out to be something that they're not. That's fraud. Made a I made a sheriff's report. So hopefully the sheriff or the police went to the Dollar General to get the video of those two guys so they know, can see who they are. Now I'm just waiting to see if I get an email from somebody claiming that they were here. Because it is the two guys they saved from Canton area that constantly sends me emails. But you know what? I'm going to be prepared next time. You got another thing coming, all of you, when it comes right down to it. I'm not telling you what. But when the time comes, you're going to know it. God have mercy on your souls. See, something else yesterday, after I went to the food pantry, went to KFC, that, you know, with some coupons and got a meal to take home. Since it was late and I wouldn't have been able to cook anything, there was a guy there. He was wearing a necklace with male buckeyes and on the on the on his shirt I mean on the on the necklace on down lower on his shirt was a wooden cross. And he saw my shirt. Let me get into some light here. He saw my shirt. John 3.16 said, I like your shirt. I said, thanks. And we got to talking. And he was telling me he's uh, in the prison ministries. He goes down to the prison in uh, down by Caldwell, Ohio. We got to talking and he prayed for me, as well as for himself, right there, right there in KFC. We were praying to God the Father. You don't find very many people that's willing to pray right in a public place. Or talk to you about God and Jesus and your struggles. I told him what's been going on with me. And he just recently lost his wife to cancer. You people are so, so, God bless it, mean to do things like this. Yeah, you brought me some eggs, but you know, some people are like, don't eat them, don't eat them, because they might have poisoned them. I'm going to eat them this morning for breakfast. But when are you going to wake up? When are you going to wake up and realize I am not giving up on preaching the truth? John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, and whosoever believeth on Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. What part of that don't you understand? Science cannot explain it. Never will. But science has proven day in and day out that there is a God. Now 
And I'm still trying to find evidence of the crucifixion. But they know there have been people crucified in the past by the Romans. <sighs> There's other things that they're discovering day in and day out that proves the Bible true. And even your own actions on the internet and your actions by coming to my home and pretending to be somebody that you're not proves God's word true. But yet, you want me to stop? No, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to get on your knees or set wherever you're sitting at and ask God to forgive you and ask Jesus into your heart and seek out a church and tell them everything that you've been doing to me. And get in that church and, and learn the truth. That's the only way for salvation for you. God bless you. Have a blessed day.